Hey there! In today's video, we're diving into the top 5 best features coming to the iPhone with the next major update, and that is iOS 18.1. This update is set to release this month, in October, and Apple has packed it with a ton of new features and enhancements that I think you're going to love. Whether you're a power user, a casual iPhone owner, or someone who just loves the latest Apple technology, this update has something for everyone. All right, let's start off with what I think is the most exciting feature, and that's Apple Intelligence. For the first time ever, Apple is bringing advanced AI capabilities to the iPhone. This is a massive leap forward for Apple, as they continue to enhance their focus on machine learning and artificial intelligence. Apple Intelligence is going to change the way you interact with your iPhone, and it will completely reshape how Siri operates. So, let's break it down. For example, one of the most prominent upgrades is in Siri. Siri has become more intelligent with enhanced conversational capabilities. You'll notice that Siri will now respond faster and with more relevant suggestions. The addition of type to Siri also makes a big difference here. Now, instead of just voice commands, you can type your requests, which comes in handy in situations where speaking out loud isn't convenient, like when you're in a meeting or at the movies. But Apple intelligence isn't just limited to Siri. In the Photos app, you'll find new AI, powered editing tools that can automatically suggest the best enhancements for your photos. Things like lighting adjustments, color corrections, and even background blur suggestions are now powered by AI. In Photos app, iOS 18.1 is introducing a fantastic new feature called Cleanup. Now, this is where Apple intelligence really shines because this feature allows you to remove unwanted objects from your photos with just a few taps. We've seen similar features in third-party apps, but now Apple is bringing this functionality directly to the native Photos app. And I've got to say, it works like magic. So how does it work? Let's say you've taken a beautiful photo, but there's something in the background that's ruining the shot. Maybe it's a random person walking by, or maybe it's just a piece of clutter you don't want in the image. All you have to do is go into the editing tools, tap on the new cleanup option, and then use the brush or circle tools to highlight the object you want to remove. The AI automatically detects the object and removes it seamlessly, blending the background so it looks natural. This is perfect for those moments when you capture an almost perfect shot, but just need to get rid of something distracting. No more relying on external apps or complex editing software. The cleanup feature is simple, effective, and a must-have for anyone who loves photography. And let's not forget, the more you use cleanup, the smarter it gets. Apple Intelligence learns from your edits, so over time, the tool becomes even more accurate and efficient. I've been using this feature for a while now, and it's honestly one of my favorite new additions in iOS 18.1. I'll be doing a full breakdown of Apple Intelligence in a separate video soon, so keep an eye out for that. But trust me when I say this. Apple Intelligence is a game changer, and if you have the iPhone 16 or 16 Pro, and iPhone 15 Pro series, it's going to unlock a whole new level of potential for your device. Next up, let's talk about Control Center. Now, if you've updated to iOS 18, you've probably already started playing around with the new customization features in Control Center. You can add or remove controls, rearrange them, and make your iPhone's Control Center truly your own. But here's the thing, what happens if you go a little overboard and things get, well, messy. Don't worry, iOS 18.1 has you covered with a brand new feature that allows you to reset your control center back to its factory defaults. This is something that a lot of users have been asking for, and it's finally here. With just a few taps, you can undo all those customizations and go back to the default setup. All you have to do is head over to settings, go into control center, and you'll see a new option to reset everything. It's that easy. Also, we will be getting some new separate toggles for certain actions like turning on Wi-Fi or a VPN. This will be now just one click tap instead of two that you have right now on iOS 18. 
All right, now for all you multitaskers out there, this next feature is going to blow your mind. With iOS 18.1, Apple is introducing drag and drop functionality between your iPhone and your Mac. Yes, you heard that right. You can now drag files, images, and even text from your Mac over to your iPhone and vice versa. This is a huge improvement for anyone who uses both devices regularly. Here's how it works. First, you'll need to mirror your iPhone to your Mac using Apple's existing screen mirroring features. Once you've done that, you can simply drag and drop files between the two devices as if they were one. This makes transferring documents, images, or even videos super easy. No more emailing files to yourself or dealing with AirDrop's occasional hiccups. Just drag, drop, and you're done. I've found this feature particularly useful when I'm working on something on my Mac, like editing photos or writing a document, and I need to quickly transfer it to my iPhone to share it or continue working on the go. It's all about seamless integration, and Apple has done a fantastic job making this process as smooth as possible. And don't worry, it's not just limited to Mac OS. If you're using an iPad, you can take advantage of this feature as well so your entire Apple ecosystem is more connected than ever before. Last but not least, we have something that I know many of you have been waiting for, call recording. Yes, it's finally happening. iOS 18.1 brings native call recording functionality to iPhone, and it's about time. This feature has been highly requested for years, and now, it's here. Once you've updated to iOS 18.1, you can enable call recording in your settings. Just go to settings, search for call recording, and toggle it on. From there, whenever you're on a call, you'll see a small icon in the top left corner of your screen. Tapping this icon will initiate the recording and you'll get a three second countdown before it starts. Now, it's important to note that the other person on the call will be notified that the call is being recorded. This is in line with privacy laws in many regions, so make sure you're aware of your local regulations regarding call recording. Once the call is over, you'll also have the option to view a transcript of the conversation, which is incredibly useful for anyone who needs to keep records of their calls for work, interviews, or just personal reference. This is definitely one of the most exciting features in iOS 18.1, and I can already see a lot of people making use of it in their daily lives. All right, guys, that wraps up my top five best new features coming to the iPhone with iOS 18.1. From Apple intelligence to control center resets, the new cleanup tool in photos, drag and drop functionality, and call recording. There's a lot to look forward to with this update. Apple has really stepped up their game with iOS 18.1, and I can't wait for you all to try it out. Let me know in the comments which feature you're most excited about or if there's something else in the update that you think deserves more attention. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.